Okay guys, in WooCommerce on WordPress, this is your problem. There are no shipping options available. So let me show you how to fix that problem. What you wanna do is go to WooCommerce, go to your settings, which I'm already there. Click on the shipping tab. You need to set up a zone, okay? So we're gonna add a zone. Now what I wanna do is I wanna offer free shipping if the order is over $30. And if it's below $30, I want them to pay a flat fee of $4 or $3.95. So what you want to do is create your zone, name it whatever you want. And zones will be United States. So now you can set that up to your needs, but here's where the magic happens. Add a shipping method. So you add free shipping, and then you want to edit it. And what you want to do is choose which one works for you, but I want a minimum order amount. So if they order over $30, we're gonna give them free shipping. And I'm gonna save that. Now watch what happens when we look at the shopping cart. So here's the shopping cart. Let me refresh it and see if it shows us. Okay, look, it did give us free shipping because the order was $36. So what happens when we lower it? Watch this. So I'm back at the cart. I'm going to lower the value. And we're going to update the cart. And now look, no shipping options were found for the address entered because the amount is below $30. So what you want to do is go back to WooCommerce. In your zone, the one that you just created, you need to add an additional one. So I'm going to add a flat rate. Add flat rate. Then you're going to edit that. WooCommerce doesn't know what to do with orders that are below $30, so we need to tell it what to do. So I'm going to do a flat rate, and the flat rate will be $3.95. We're going to save that. Let's go back to our cart, refresh it, and see what happens. Okay, so now look. The order is below $30. The flat rate will be $3.95. Now, here's the next problem you need to fix. Let's make the order over $30. We'll update the cart. So now look what happens. It shows free shipping and the flat rate as a radio button. Naturally, you don't want the user to, to have to choose. So WooCommerce should be smart enough to figure that out. And it is possible, but we have to modify some code. Let me show you how. On GitHub, there's some code, and I'll give you the link below in the YouTube description. But I'm going to copy this code. What this code does is it allows us to remove the radio button. In order to add it to your WordPress, you need to go down to appearance and then you want to edit your theme because you want to get to the um, functions PHP page. So go down, let's see, go down to appearance, go down to theme editor. You may want to create a child theme uh, and you can look up how to do that. So for in this scenario, I'm going to go to my functions and we have this code here that we copied, and I'll give you the link below. Paste it into your functions. We're gonna update that file. Then we're gonna go back to our shopping cart, and I'm gonna show you how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna update the quantity. So the quantity is $12, which means it's below the free shipping possibility. And notice it says flat rate, $3.95. Let me refresh it just to show you. So flat rate is $3.95 because the order is below $30. Let's go over $30. We'll update the cart. And this is where the radio buttons used to be. And so you will see that the option to choose the flat shipping rate is gone. So the radio buttons are gone once I added that code to functions PHP. So that's uh, how you do it. And if you go to the link below in the description, you can read the comments and see uh, what other possibilities there are. So if you're at, if you want to do like local pickup or if you want to add UPS shipping rates or FedEx or what have you, um, there are other options. But this is, this works really well for drop shippers. So if you're a drop shipper, you want to collect uh, a flat fee or offer free shipping, this is how you would do it. So anyways, you know how this works. Give me a like and comment below. Thanks.